Hey, it's done. I did a haul the other day, and I thought I would talk about it a little bit here. It's something that I do enjoy finding. I got about a thousand uh, vintage slides. Ninety percent of them or so are Red Border Kodachrome, um, which are the, really the best ones you want to get. Now, we have sold Red Border Kodachrome slides all the way up to $600 before. Here's a close-up of exactly what I'm talking about. So you can see a Red Border Kodachrome. It's going to say transparency. These are 35 millimeter slides. It's a transparency, basically, is what a slide is. It means it's the positive. It's just like a photo, but instead of being printed on paper, it's printed on a transparent material. Now, I paid 40 bucks for all of these. Now, some of the boxes had some writing on them describing what's in them. Let me show you one of the most interesting ones. One of the reasons I hopped up on this after looking inside this one box. As you can see there, Japan, it's got the uh, Pacific, it's got Korea, Seattle. So it's some interesting content. My guess was this was Korean War era. Some very interesting slides in here. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a nice little slideshow of some of the images I pulled from just the few I've looked through already. There's a lot of money in these sorts of things. A slide from Korea could go for hundreds of dollars on its own if it's the right image, if it's got something really unique, something that most people haven't seen before in it. And these did have some really nice images in it. Again, 40 bucks is what I paid for this. My guess is close to, say, a 1000 bucks. I should get back out of these. I have looked through some of these, so I know that the content is there. There's some really interesting images, some baseball ones. There's some early California images. They traveled around the country, around the globe as well. There are some interesting images taken on board Navy ships in a convoy heading that way towards Korea. So it's just all around a nice topic. Now, we run into slides all the time. I run into these carousels quite often. I run into packs that say stuff on them. This one said Venezuela. It's actually a thrift store pack also. I look through these. I hold some up to the light inside the store, try and get an idea on what's inside of these. Now, sometimes there's stuff written on the slides. Those are the ones that are always the best. You know where the place was. You sometimes know when it was taken, what's going on. This one says Venezuela. So this one I assumed would be okay. I paid half of that, so I got two bucks into this. And again, stuff like this, always look inside. Sometimes the carousels that are in here aren't what's in here. The carousels themselves, I usually don't even mess with. I'll just take the slides out, discard all the rest of it. Another rule, always look at the inside of the box. I open up every single one because what happened to be in this one was other items. More slides, broken down, all kinds of information written on the tops of them also. So slides are always good. Now looking back at the big purchase I just got, I should get close to a thousand bucks back out of this. This stuff sells for us all the time. I almost always only mess with red border or really, really good content. And I have to know that it's there before I will buy it.
40 bucks for about eight, 900 Kodachrome red border slides. It was a no brainer, especially with the content listed on each box. It all appears to be just as it says it is. It's just a nice assortment here. So check this sort of thing out. We make a lot of money selling these. We break them down individually. The ones that we can't sell individually, we will sell back in a lot on eBay and they will always sell. We don't hold on to media like this. Same thing goes for eight millimeter films, 16 millimeter films, 35 millimeter slides, films and things like that always go for us. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend. one-guy operation. And I'm the guy. You're the guy. Whatever your job.